I'm Steve Mooney, the product manager for the Pantsaver Cook Chill line. Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble and operate our manual clipper, which is part of the Cook Chill system, a way to create a safe inventory of extended shelf life, prepare foods that can be portion controlled and reheated on demand. Before we begin, it's important to note that the cook chill process requires a hassle plant. Your local Department of Health can provide you with specifics and you can easily do it yourself. There are many online resources that have both information and consultants. Let's begin by taking a look at the components. The clipper comes in three pieces, a horizontal base, a handle assembly, a clip magazine with the clip weight and two L brackets. One of the L brackets is designed to mount the clipper to a wall. The other L bracket converts it to a table mount. The tools that will be needed for assembly are a four millimeter Allen wrench, a three millimeter Allen wrench, and two small open end or crescent wrenches. Also included are two large bolts that mount the clipper to the smaller bracket and four smaller bolts that mount the larger bracket to convert to a table assembly. Finally, the instruction manual. To engage the base piece of the clipper handle, loosen the set screw from the linkage pin with a three millimeter Allen wrench. There is a notch in the linkage pin on which the set screw presses to hold the linkage pin in place. After sliding the plunger, which is attached to the handle assembly, into the slot on the left of the horizontal base, insert the linkage pin into the circular opening of the handle base, matching the notch up with the circular opening. With the handle moved to the left, tighten the set screw with the Allen wrench through the hole provided. You will find two L brackets with the kit, a larger L bracket and a smaller L bracket. Attach the short side of the smaller L bracket to the underside of the clipper and secure it with the two large nuts and bolts provided. The clipper is now ready to attach to a wall. To convert it to a table mount, attach the long side of the smaller bracket to the long side of the table mount L bracket with the nuts and bolts provided. Push the bolts through the front so that the nuts attach from the rear. Secure the remaining side of the larger L bracket to a sturdy counter or table. For permanent placement, fasten the bracket to your counter with the bolts that are at least a half inch longer than the counter thickness. We recommend placing a washer above the bracket and securing it underneath the counter with a washer, lock washer, and nut. Note that these items are not included in the cook chill assembly. For temporary use, secure the bracket to the counter tightly with C-clamps. With the two brackets assembled and mounted to the table, then attach the horizontal base to the top of the bracket. Remove the two hex bolts from the bottom of the clipper magazine. Position the magazine on top of the horizontal base in the slots provided and secure it with the two hex bolts. With the clip magazine attached to the horizontal base, the clips can then be inserted into the clip magazine secured by the clip weight. If the clips do not freely drop into the bottom of the magazine, the set screws can be slightly loosened and the magazine can be wiggled so that the clips drop freely to the bottom of the horizontal base. Once you're comfortable with the clips dropping to the bottom of the horizontal base, test one clip by pulling the handle to the left. When you remove the clip from the clipper, it should be a perfect oval. The clipper has been calibrated at the factory, but if slight adjustments need to be made, it can be done with the bolt at the base of the handle. The casings can be held open by a ring stand for filling. 
Use a calibrated vessel to pour the desired amount of food into each casing. Casings are manufactured to specific fill volumes. A one gallon casing will properly hold one gallon of food. Keep in mind, food should be cooked to a minimum pasteurization temperature of 165 degrees. We recommend cooking food to at least 180 degrees to allow for a safety buffer during the cook chill packaging process. Before clipping, eliminate as much air as possible from the casing by twisting the bag, then clip near the top of the open end. Casings should not be packed firmly. The food should be able to move freely inside the casing. There are two ways to test your fill level. One is the saddle test. Place a filled casing over your extended fingers evenly distributed like a saddle bag. Fingers should be partially visible through the center of the casing. If not, the casing is overfilled and will take longer to cool. The second is a table test. Place the casing flat on the table and measure the height from the table surface to the top of the casing. If the measurement is more than 2.5 inches, it is overfilled and will take longer to cool. There are several ways to cool the casings. Glass chiller, tumble chiller, or an ice bath. When the casings are properly packed, the product should cool to an internal temperature of 41 degrees in two hours.